If you like this gameplay, check out my Twitch in the description below. We'll be running donations to help Minhart move to a safer home. Master Yen Sid? Gosh, do you think he'll be able to do it? Hmm. It's clear you cannot teach a cat to bark. But Merlin and the three good fairies are aiding him in a place that's more temporally flexible. My hope is that he can at least learn to wield it. He certainly has fire. So I suppose it depends now on how strongly it burns. Oh. But what about Sora and Riku? Well, if we are running on the assumption Xehanort knew what we were planning, then he still would need to have been there. Back in the very place and time when the Destiny Islands were lost to darkness. Otherwise, Sora and Riku would have been beyond his reach. Mm. Gee, do you really think it's possible Xehanort could have planned things that far in advance? No, as a matter of fact, I do not. But what if he did the same thing as Sora and Riku did, and he jumped through time? For that to work, a version of himself would have had to exist at both Source and Destination. Not even Xehanort can transport his whole body across vast reaches of time. <gasps> oh! Oh no! I remember, Xehanort did give up his body! It was a version of him that was possessing Riku! Oh crap! No, it cannot be. Could he be that cunning? Possess that kind of foresight? <clears throat> if it's all right with you, can I go help Sora and Riku out? How? You cannot enter the world of a dream. Where will you go? If Xehanort really is behind all this, then they won't stay in the dream worlds forever. Eventually, they're gonna reappear somewhere that we can go reach them. And we can even probably guess the place. Follow the hearts, and you'll find the way. That's something Master Aqua told me once. Hmm. Plan Minky! We're going too! Ha, oh, fellas. You're my best pals. But this time... I really do need to go it alone. The dangers are greater than anything we've ever faced before. If something were to happen to Sora and Riku and me, why, you'll be the only ones left to keep this world safe. Mickey, I was not able to locate Sora, but I sense Riku's presence in the realm between. Trust your heart. And I know you will find him. Thank you. I promise I'll bring them both back safe and sound. Yeah! 
Wait, isn't this... Is the organization's world sleeping too? No, it, it can't be. I know I definitely found the seven keyholes already. So I've got to be awake again and in the real world. But why here? Oh, what's the <sighs> matter, sleepyhead? Who's there? Show yourself! We jumped through a lot of hoops to get you here. But it looks as if it's gonna pay off. <laughs> You're part of this? Hey, let's hit these plot points in order, Sora, Roxas. First, you must be wondering about your revised itinerary. Why am I here, not back home? The answer's simple. We brought you to this place, hijacked your little slumber party before it started, and ever since we've been both your companions and your constant guides. Before it started? Uh, the man in the robe! And so that guy in the black coat! And Xemnas! Oh. Bingo! You were able to go back in time to just before your home became a sleeping world, only because a past version of you already existed there. And I can see, in the past, you already met Mr. Rogue Guy. Yep, he was there then to make sure you ended up here now. That's ridiculous! It sure is. It's too perfect. Who'd ever believe it? Which is why you idiots never saw it coming. You thought you were off doing some kind of test, right? We'll test this. How come you're wearing the same clothes if you're already back home? You are not gonna wake up, okay? Look, there's no real versus dreams anymore. There's just you, us, and this. I see. Fair enough. So what? At least I know who to blame for it. Ooh, I see you still got that angry look down. But here is where I tag out. I got just a few more hoops I gotta jump through. Come with me. What? Pleasant dreams, kiddo. Yes, this was where it started. At this point, I still had no idea that I was talking to myself. He cast away his bodily form just to set me on the appointed path. What do you mean? That is Xehanort, reduced to just a heart. The being you and your friends called Ansem. Whoa! Is that...? Yes. The point in time that Zigbar mentioned. Me. Right before my world was swallowed by the darkness. To move through time, you must leave your body behind. Ansem first sent me on my way. 
and then placed himself here when the time was right. That is what set all these events in motion. What are you saying? That he knew everything that would happen? No, not everything. But remember, Ansem possessed Riku and saw his experiences in real time. So? That could only tell him so much. How did he know I would be here today? Simple. <sighs> Kairi! You've been oh. here many times. Your first journey, your voyage through memories, in the datascape, in your dreams, relived again and again, like deja vu. King Mickey? Oh. Donald! Goofy! Pluto! Majesty! Donald! Goofy! Huh? Huh? Nomine, is that you? Wait! Nomine! I've got a message for you. I meant to tell you once this was all over. Huh? Who are... you? Why am I... Hey, wait! You gotta wake up! Wait up! Who are you? You're... Roxas! How can you be here? Am I dreaming? Come on! Say something! This could have been the other way around. Huh? But it really has to be you. What do you mean? There are so many hearts that are connected to yours. You're me, so you can feel what I felt. <sighs> no. Roxas, you're you. We're not the same. I wanted to tell you that. 
that you deserve as much as I do to be your own person. Uh, uh, Sora, see? That's why it has to be you. Again. Did they cause all this pain? What do you want me to see? So, don't chase the dreams. They'll leave you nowhere. Just to an abyss you'll never be able to wake up from. Why am I here? I unlocked all seven keyholes, so I should be back in the world I came from. Riku! Kairi! I found you! Ah! Uh. 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 
Wait! Whoopsie daisy. Wasn't easy putting you into a second sleep, and he almost woke you up. So then, all that stuff I just saw, did you put that in my head? No. That wasn't stuff. It was a dream. The falling asleep part was definitely our bad. But we can't put stuff in your head. Hey, I got an idea. Ask your heart. See if it's got a clue. Well, my heart was aching. That's why I kept going. Oh, thank you, Sora's heart, for pushing him right into our clutches. Aren't hearts great? Steer us wrong every time. You know, right? Because you all have hearts. Axel and Roxas and Namine, and that other girl. I felt what Roxas felt. And they laughed together, got mad, and they grieved. You have to have a heart to cry. <laughs> it's about time you noticed. Indeed. A heart is never lost for good. There may have been variances in our dispositions, but a number of us unquestionably showed signs of a burgeoning replacement. <gasps> Once born, the heart can also be nurtured. Our experiments creating heartless were attempts to control the mind and convince it to renounce its sense of self. But understand, one can banish the heart from the body, but the body will try to replace it the first chance it gets, for as many times as it takes. And so I knew, even after we were divided into heartless and nobodies, it was just a temporary separation. Why then? Why did you lie to them, and tell them they had no hearts? Xemnas and Xehanort formed the organization for a specific reason. Round up a bunch of empty husks, hook them up to Kingdom Hearts, then fill them all with the exact same heart and mind. Translation? They were gonna turn all the members into Xehanort. Make more Xehanorts? You tricked your friends to... But you... Aren't you scared of just... turning into someone else? Me? I'm already half Xehanort. That's nuts! However... through weakness of body... weakness of will... or weakness of trust... Most of the original members we had chosen for the organization were inadequate. Thus, naturally, they never had a chance to attain their goal. Yet, even this was to be expected. 
We have learned of the heart's folly, and we have achieved our other goals. This last excursion has proven to be a worthy closing assignment for the organization. Just stop it! You treat people's hearts like bottles on a shelf, but they're not! Hearts are made of the people we meet, and how we feel about them. They're what ties us together even when we're apart. They're what make me strong. Hmm. Duh. <laughs> You're strong because of the ties you have with other people. As if the Keyblade would choose a wimp like you. But no pain. We see much bigger and better things in your future. Once you side with us. I know the Keyblade didn't choose me. And I don't care. I'm proud to be a small part of something bigger. The people it did choose. <gasps> my friends, they are my power! Those are just words. You, you've lost. <clears throat> Fine. See where your power gets you here. Xemnas, he's all yours! Yeah, there! Just, uh, 
Just make it too easy. I know you think you've won, but you lost the moment you dived this far in. You're in the deepest pit of slumber, and you've worn yourself down to nothing. There's no returning to the world above. What do you mean? We told you. It was not the sleeping keyholes that guided you. They are not the reason you are here. You've been on a path, one we laid out for you. That sigil on your chest is the proof. What? See, that sigil, the X. It tells us where you are at all times. You had wondered aloud before why we kept showing up where you were. It's because we need you, Sora. Or, to be more precise, we need what will be left of you. The Thirteenth Dark Vessel. Why... I... Why was it assured you would come here today? Because I followed my destined path, and I'm here looking at you right now. You can move through time, but time itself is immovable. Today, all of my selves throughout time were meant to gather here. And to welcome you, Sora, as our thirteenth member. These facts cannot be changed. What's gonna... I have now told you all that I know. We are all here, and what the future holds in store is beyond my sight. I will return to my own time, and grow into the man who becomes all these others. While I know this future now that I have lived it, returning to my own time will erase the memories and experiences I have gained here. Still, my appointed path is now etched in my heart, which will first lead me to seek the outside world. Riku... Your heart will sleep forever in the folds of darkness, and your body will be another vessel for me. So light gives way to darkness, Good night, Sora.
Is that... Sora? Sora! Oh. Sora, don't! You've got to wake up! Sora! Are you what's trapping him in that nightmare? <sighs> Cause if you are, I'm what nightmares fear! Yeah. <laughs> 
Sora. Don't chase the dreams. They'll lead you nowhere. Just to an abyss you'll never be able to wake up from. <laughs> what? What's going on in Sora's world? <laughs> Why won't he open his eyes? Is he still in the nightmare? That is right. Huh? Ansem! <laughs> Sora could no longer wake up. No matter how many nightmares you consume, you cannot wake someone who has fallen into the chasm of dreams. What? Dreams hold our memories. Sleep holds our dreams. And darkness, it holds our sleep. Sora's heart belongs to the darkness now. Sora would never give in to the darkness! But you feel it, don't you? This world, the nightmare, the abyss. Why haven't you returned to the reality whence you came? No. This is a... Dream of a dream. A two-fold nightmare. This whole journey, you have been inside Sora's dreams. And now darkness within darkness awaits you. What? No! I, I can't get loose! At the start of your test, when you struck out from that tiny island, you saw me there dressed in a robe. Immediately you knew something was wrong. So without even knowing it, you dove into Sora's dream. And you became exactly what that sigil on your back represents. A dream eater to protect Sora from nightmares. Me? I'm a dream eater? Correct. But you failed to protect him. After all your efforts to command the darkness and protect those you cherish, it is a shame you locked that power away in the end. Except... it's not over. I can still save Sora. So you understand what to do. Set the darkness in you free, and you can rescue your friend. Ansem. Or... Xehanort. You used to be a Keyblade wielder. But darkness stole your heart. And the Keyblade with it. Don't you see? That's half the reason I'm even on this journey. After allowing darkness into my heart, Am I still fit to wield the Keyblade? Even after locking you away, here you are, haunting me again. So I get it now. There's no point in trying to hold the darkness back. At last, you see clearly. You know, when I look at you, there's this memory that flashes back. A secret I said I'd keep when I was little. The main reason I kept dreaming about seeing the outside world was because of him. Mm -hmm. My journey begins here. And now, I'm going back to the real world. And then to Sora's side. That is your answer? Yes. I know the way. Consume the darkness. Return it to light. You can try.
Handsome, you're part of my heart now, part of the light. Ever the fool boy, and forever a pawn of the darkness. Yeah! 
Strength to protect what matters. Oh. This place. Did I finally make it out of the dream? Sora and I have been split up since the start of our journey. Because Ansem... No. Because Xehanort planned it. And that means... We're a long way off course from the Mark of Mastery exam Yen Sid gave us. Alright. Sora's gotta be here. Somewhere. 